right now, the, and Doug is correct, the, I think for, for 2010, the average major league salary is $3.27 million. Mm-hmm. The minimum salary is 400000 When I played, it was 12000 Wow. Um, so it does seem a little strange uh, that MLB, and rightfully so, we, we fully recognize this when they included the old Negro League ball players into the system. I think that was very good for for them, they did the right thing by those guys. I think when they lowered the uh, vesting requirement from four years to 43 days, I think that was a good thing that MLB and the union did. Good for those guys. But what we don't understand is why are we completely left out of this this deal? You know, we've got guys, I don't know, Doug, what you find out? I think age-wise probably 60 to 85. Oh, the, uh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, uh, and, and, and you stop and think about it, and I, and I fully understand that, Today is not like it was back when some of these guys were, were actually coming back from World War II and playing, and they probably played for two or three thousand dollars a year, and we're glad uh, we're glad of it. But the stories that I have found out about, um, and I know Doug did some tremendous work on um, getting information for the book, and of course I've read the book at least once, and uh, you know the stories are very compelling, but. Um, we sent out 874 letters to guys in this uh, in this group, of which I am one. If you can believe this, we received back the letter was sent out with a questionnaire, and we wanted to find out and, and have current information, personal information on these guys, and then if they would write a comment. Of the 874 letters that we sent out, we had 650 replies. So it's quite obvious that this is. Uh, this is something of interest to these guys, and they would truly like to see something done on their behalf. You know, we're not asking for, for welfare, but we would like baseball to do the right thing. The stories that I read, I went down to Colorado Springs several months ago where the uh, uh, Major League Baseball player alumni office is, and I went through, I think it was like 400 or 450 of the letters in the questionnaires uh, that had been returned. I went through every single one of them because I wanted to, you know, get some some real personal information and and it was just amazing the stories that i was reading uh you know guys with disabilities cancer heart attacks uh one gentleman wrote that his wife had recently uh, recently passed away now he wasn't getting her full social security benefits and he didn't know if he's going to be able to make ends meet foreclosures bankruptcies and one of the most interesting that that i read was one of our uh, one of our group Puerto Rican ball player, and he said that he really thanked us for working on this the four member subcommittee. And he says for the first time since he got out of baseball, he actually feels like he's part of the baseball family. He was even embarrassed to sign a baseball prior to uh, his receiving our letter to know that somebody is working on this. Mm. Well, <clears throat> Doug. Uh, Joe. Of course, you say there's 874 retirees. Are there more out there, or or is it? Is well, it as Gary only knows too well, uh, as of February 2000, um, this class we're talking about uh, was actually about 1,400, and then mm-hmm. as of October 2003, uh, it had been reduced to um, to 1,053, and now there are only 874 of these uh, gentlemen. Left and uh, I, I don't know if you do the math right, but I think that comes out to you know we're losing them at three a month at a rate of three ball players a month. Mm. And uh, you know if if there are any um, that you'll pardon my word uh, phrase uh, are seeping through the cracks, um, please by all means uh, tell them to to contact Gary, courtesy of the Major League Baseball Players uh, Alumni Association at Colorado Springs. We want to know their whereabouts mm. what type of um, <clears throat> from Major League Baseball what type of reception did you get about the book or the, you know I know the, or uh, from the front office did anybody in the front office uh, from Bud Selig down s- say anything give you any type of Inclination, or it's just like you know. Well, let me let me just preface my remarks by by just telling you that uh, officials who I spoke to and, uh, and emailed with and, and corresponded with on a regular basis in Major League Baseball could not have been 
nicer, mm-hmm. more professional, more solicitous. They went out of the way, out of their way to answer my questions uh, in a very open and honest manner. Um, specifically, uh, Gary alluded to uh, Mr. Rob Manfred, the Vice President of Labor Relations and Human Resources, as well as his, uh, well, at the time, Pat Courtney was his aide. Now, um, with the retirement of Rich Levin as baseball's chief spokesperson, I, I, it's my understanding that uh, Pat Courtney has now become the director of uh, public relations for uh, Major League Baseball. Those two gentlemen could not have been nicer. Uh, you know, let's flip the situation, however. Folks over at the union, uh, not so, not so much. Really? Um, and, and, and I'm gonna just tell you and your listeners this right off the bat. I have no personal animosity with the union, with Marvin Miller, Don Fear. Um, I just wish, for the sake of being a responsible journalist and reporter, I just wish Michael Weiner and Steve Rogers, who is the liaison to uh, to Mr. Weiner, um, handling pension issues. I just wish they would have returned my calls, and my repeated emails. Hmm. Um, you know, what, what are they hiding? Why won't they talk to me? Yes, I am not a member of the mainstream media. That is very true. That didn't stop Rob Manfred from uh, from emailing me. Uh, his responses, or for Pat Courtney for uh, speaking with me and emailing me responses. I will say this, it was just a pleasure, a delight, a positive joy talking with uh, Marvin Miller. Um, it, uh, he had lost his wife only two weeks before we spoke, but he was as gracious and as kind as can be, and, and quite frankly was very frank and candid, and he didn't have to uh, talk to me, mm-hmm. but he did. Uh, I just wish uh, Steve Rogers and Mike Weiner had demonstrated the same poise and class as, as Marvin Miller, who just celebrated his 93rd birthday last week. Mm. Gary, On the yeah. day the book came out, too, by the way, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was rather ironic. <laughs> I mean, you have a heavy hitter. I mean, writing the uh, the forward, David Mar- Dave Marish, I mean... That alone, I mean, he, he's, you know, that's a big name. Dave Marish is uh, a personal friend of mine, and he's a huge Philly fan. <laughs> he's, a, he's a huge Philly fan. He, um, years ago, um, without, you know, me getting into um, my, my career, I, I appeared on Nightline, and that's where Dave and I met. Okay. And uh, we, we've stayed in touch ever since. Oh, okay. Gary, if you were a ball player today, um, you're, uh, all right, you're a senior in college, a scout sees you, uh, you're going to get signed. How much How much do you think today you were signed for, and you may get to the major league, so you need 43 days to get that pension, correct? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. How, how much, you know, from when you played, you know, back in the late 60s, early 70s to now, you say what you signed for twelve thousand? Well, that was your salary. Twelve thousand was the minimum big league salary. And Joan, I don't mind telling you when I signed uh, in 1966. I signed in between my uh, junior and senior year in college. I went to the University of Nebraska, uh-huh. and uh, my my bonus was twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and uh, enough money that the MLB would pay t- to finish my college uh-huh. education. And when I had, I think Joe Bowman was a, the gentleman I eventually signed uh, signed with with the Braves, and I made certain that uh, yeah I wanted I wanted some cash, but I also wanted the guarantee uh, of the college education, which I which I did go back and get. And unfortunately, just as a sidebar here, uh, kids that sign that get college uh, education as part of their bonus, probably less than 20% of them go back and get it, which is too bad. But I wanted that as a, an insurance policy, if you will. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, you know, and it, it depends, Joe, on, on what uh, round that you are, are, are drafted in. And if you do sign out of college, um, you know, you're looking at some, some young, young man that's 21, 